about that time, Thirsty Thursday. A Japanese eatery has been making a name for itself as a foodie staple in Northwest Portland. Yeah, Takibi on Northwest Flanders also getting a lot of attention for its drinks, including some made with little to no alcohol at all. And joining us right now with some dry January recipes, Jim Meehan, beverage director at Takibi. Good morning. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. Yeah, Thanks glad you're here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so how would you describe that drink uh, selection at Takibi? Again, like a lot of people know what you have on the menu, but the drink side is also popping off even in dry January. Yeah, so we have an 18 drink menu that is a mixture. Obviously, we have vodka and gin and rum and tequila and whiskey and brandy, like mm -hmm. normal cocktail bars. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't drink all the time anymore. So I like to have a number of options, at least three that are non-alcoholic in the mm -hmm. front of the menu. And then I've actually created this uh, drink that I'm going to serve and show you how to make okay. called the Automatic, which is made with a non-alcoholic distillate and just a little bit of alcohol because I've found that a lot of people who don't drink aren't, you know, cold turkey non-drinkers, but they just sometimes they drink and sometimes right. they don't. So this is a low proof option. Okay, I just like that. Scale it back you want to be bit. able to have a couple, you know, a couple session cocktails over the course of an evening and not feel like you Yeah, are this is a, a nightcap almost desserty style drink, but it's not sweet. I that like it. Okay. would allow you to sort of downshift. Yeah. Interesting. That's okay. really smart. Okay, yeah. let's get into one. What do you want to make first? We're going to make the yuzu shandy first. This awesome. is a drink we open with and it's great cuz we actually can serve it with alcohol with this uh, Takibi Pilsner, which we uh, have uh, Ferment Brewing make for us, mm -hmm. or we can make it without alcohol with the Athletic, the Golden mm. Dawn. Gotcha. And this is, uh, whether you have it with or without alcohol, it's a low ABV drink because it's a shandy. And shandies were, you know, based on the sort of German shandy gas, were drinks that are, you know, I think it was a drink that was originally developed after a bicycle race. Oh, uh, interesting. So this is um, a low AB op ABV option, whether uh -huh. it has alcohol or not. Mm -hmm. I like to rim it uh, with a mixture of uh, togarashi, of the Japanese seven spice, okay. and salt. And that gets uh, a half rim, because obviously, just like the alcohol, some people like the spice, right. and some mm -hmm. people I don't. I like the half rim, where you have, a, you have an option to go in there and not be full salt and what, <laughs> in your what face. Kind of, what kind of flavor profile is that spice that you, you have So there? this is going to have chili on it, so there's a little mm -hmm. bit of heat, okay. and then it has sancho, which has got a little bit of numbing, and then it's got sesame and nori mm -hmm. uh, and hemp seed, so there's it's quite savory, but oh, there's a really little neat. bit of heat to it, okay. which is why some people may not love this. And then we mix this. Uh, since a, a shandy would normally be made with lemonade, we right. use a, a yuzu lemonade. So nice. this is a Japanese yuzu lemonade. Uh -huh. uh, and then... A little citrus. Yeah, and then what we do at the restaurant is we, we try to focus on local. And so um, a lot of our drinks have are not fully Japanese. They're, they use local ingredients and mix them with a Japanese ingredient like togarashi or like a local pilsner that's made in a Japanese style, like, gotcha. like ferments. Okay. So oh, this wonderful. is the yuzu shandy. It really does. Yeah, so I've made this without alcohol for you. So yeah, this athletic brewing, yes, it's it's athletic brewing, but it's a non-alcoholic beer. But it's a zero-proof beer. Yeah. Cheers. 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 This looks very refreshing. Clean. So while right. you're enjoying try. dry January, I'll jump into damp January. Love it. Um, oh, that's nice. That is wonderful. Oh, I mm -hmm. love that spice. Yeah, yeah, so it's super light. Oh, that's so good. A perfect morning beverage with mm -hmm. no alcohol. Mm -hmm. This uh, drink is called the Automatic. Okay. I use a lot of uh, puns for my name yes. <laughs> That's as, great. as a dad. And uh, <laughs> so the, the way that this works is uh, this is being made instead of with milk, I, I found that uh, soft tofu could be blended together oh. and sort of bring in a lot of that flavor. That is a great creamy from tofu. Yeah. So this is soft. This is this all is soft tofu. Soft tofu that's been blended. Um, and, if, and we have a, a tofu maker in Portland called Ota that has been making Portland, uh, making uh, this tofu for uh, like something like 70 years. Mm -hmm. So they just, they make amazing tofu. We use it in our tofu donuts and, and in, in a number of preps at the restaurant. And I was thinking like, you know, if the, the kitchen could use it, I can use it yeah. um, behind the bar. So. It's going to get a third a cup of the of the soft tofu. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a half an ounce of uh, chocolate liqueur. Uh, this is creme de cacao from Tempest Fugit. Okay. And then um, the Oregon element of it is this is Wilderton's non-alcoholic. Uh, this is their bittersweet aperitivo, which is very similar to like a 
a sort of non-alcoholic version of Campari. Okay. We, we've had Wilderton on, on the show a couple, uh, we've featured their spirits a couple right. of times. They, and they're non-alcoholic spirits. Uh, they, it's, it's really impressive. One of the first companies in the, in the country to focus on non-alcoholic distillates. Right, yeah. and, and, and I like them because they're, they're sort of really unique and flavorful. Yeah. I think sometimes when you have a non-alcoholic drink, it doesn't have the same really kind of flavor experience mm -hmm. as alcohol does. And I think you get all that flavor there but, um, you need that um, the the kind of tannic quality or those those yeah. bitters in there to give it that edge, so yeah. that you don't just feel like you're having soda. Exactly. Yeah. And so yeah. I think that this is a, a non-alcoholic drink experience that is not uh, uh, less than an alcoholic drink experience. Fantastic. Okay, so we're getting the shaker in. We'll give that a shake, and then real quick before we go, um, I don't know if we have any pictures of the of the space. If we've had a chance to show Takibi for anyone who doesn't know this restaurant, um, it's just it's such a cool little, almost like a little escape in Northwest Portland. <laughs> yeah, and we are attached to Snow Peak, which is a Japanese outdoor lifestyle brand, yeah. and this is one of their titanium double walled cups. Oh, nice. And because we're you know, owned by Snow Peak, we get to work with really cool. All the cool gear. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look at, I mean, look at those images. You're right. It looks like a little a little oasis there just hiding in the It is in the all the, in the, the natural materials and the Japanese influence. It's just very, very cool. Well, beverage director Jim Meehan, thank you so much for joining us on Thirsty Thursday. This is a cool looking little bevy here. It really is. Cheers yeah, to you. Thank you. Cheers, you guys. Low Thanks proof, really no you proof. Love that you were here. However you want to finish off your January, you can check out Takibi. Again, they're located on Northwest Flanders near 23rd. Mm. TakibiPDX.com for all the info.